Hey there fam, welcome to another of my top videos. Since the last 5 sad moments in Pokemon did pretty well, today I'm bringing you 10 more sad moments in Pokemon. But since it's a top 10, and I usually only do top 5s, I decided to recruit some help for this one. What's up fam, it's me Arizo, and I'm letting you know right now, have some tissues at the ready because this one will hit the feels. AZ and his Floet. Even though he might be considered bad for his actions, he did have to pay a heavy price. The whole point of AZ's ultimate weapon was to revive his beloved Floet who passed away during the Pokemon War. But he still wasn't happy, so he also fired the ultimate weapon at the people and Pokemon who harmed his friend. Because of this, and after Floet learning that many Pokemon were sacrificed to revive her, she left, and AZ was left to wander the world for thousands of years. But during the events of X and Y, he was finally able to reunite with his old friend. This event has both happy and sad moments going for it as Floet comes down and lands on AZ's hands. Wally and his struggle to become the champion. There are many factors that really create an urge for sympathy for this guy. From being sick all the way from not having support from his family. Now if you guys didn't know yet, yes, Wally does in fact have an illness. Game Freak has not specified what it is, but we're pretty certain it's something related to asthma. Not only that, but you the friend beat him every single time, crushing his dreams of one day becoming the champion and overcoming his illness. His only family doesn't even want him to embark on his journey. But against all odds, Wally never gives up, and no matter how many times you put him down, he always wants to improve. Very admirable and sad at the same time. Ash's Pidgeot. Alright guys, this one is a rough one. Do you guys remember Ash's Pidgeot? Well, Ash doesn't. Back in episode 81 of the anime titled Palette Party Panic, Ash decides to let his Pidgeot stay to protect the Pidgey from Firo and his gang, promising him that he would one day return to see him again. Well, guess what? He never came back. What makes this moment really sad is the fact that Pidgeotto had to be one of Ash's most loyal Pokemon, always willing to fight for him no matter what the stakes. Unlike some Pokemon like Charizard and Pikachu, Pidgeotto was loyal from the start. So Ash, you better come back to see him, or prepare for trouble. The two Skiddo in Lumio Station. Have you ever wondered why there are two Skiddo there? Well, if you talk to some people, there's an NPC in Lumio City who tells you that those two Skiddo in front of the station, you know, the ones cuddled up so adorably together to sleep, well, apparently they've been there for years, ever since they were abandoned by their trainer, who they are still waiting for. That's so sad to think that people could be so cruel to Pokemon like that. Loyal companions who will fight for you, no matter what the cause, and this is how you repay them? This is actually in reference to one of my favorite movies, known as Hachiko. If you haven't seen it, you must watch it, it's a great movie. In the movie, Hachiko, which is an Akita, a dog breed, always waits for his master at the train station. One day his owner died, so he never came back. The loyal Hachiko always waited for him every day at the train station until the end of his days. Really, really sad. Based on the true story, by the way. Bye bye Butterfree. Who could ever forget Ash's Butterfree from Kanto? Besides Ash, but that seems to be a trend now. So many great memories come to mind. When it was the little Caterpie taking down Team Rocket, evolving from Metapod to Butterfree, or even helping Ash earn gym badges. Butterfree has been there since the beginning, and when episode 21 titled Bye Bye Butterfree came about, it was one of the first sad moments in the Pokemon anime. In this episode, Butterfree met his love at first sight. Although it was funny, it became obvious that it was time for our little body to move on. After defeating Team Rocket with tears in his eyes, Butterfree flew away as we see flashbacks of all the adventures with Ash and the rest of the gang. Hey, Ovi, this video is getting a bit long, so how about we take the last five and do them on my channel? Sounds good to me. So everyone, please follow us to Arizo's channel so we can wrap this video up. Just click on the annotation on the screen.